Hello everyone, my name is John Fisher. I'm the Director of Product Development for Jayco Tobles, which includes the Whitehawk, Jayfeather, and the all new Micro we introduced a few model years uh, ago. Um, we're here today to show you the 2024 Micro that we're uh, rolling out here soon, uh, and some of the cool changes that we made. The floor plan that we're gonna uh, go through today is the 166 FBS which is one of the top selling uh, units in the fleet. So we'll start out with, uh, which is ob obviously apparent, is the new uh, exterior graphics package. So we're really excited about the new look on the micro. Um, this is the first change we've really made to the exterior. Um, we stayed kind of linear in nature. Uh, consumers seem to like that, but just wanted to try to give it a little bit more aggressive, uh, edgy appeal. And uh, we think we accomplished that. A uh, few things on the roof. Um, in, in the past model years, you know, we have offered an Overlander 1 and Overlander 2 solar power package. Well, for 2024 on all micros, the Overlander 1 uh, power package is now standard. So you'll get the 200 watt roof mounted solar panel, as well as the 30 amp controller, which will be uh, uh, mounted on the inside of the coach. You can still get the Overlander 2 uh, solar package optional. Again, that is two 200 watt solar panels up on the roof, an 1800 watt inverter, as well as the 30 amp controller, again, mounted um, on the inside. A uh, few things on the basement. Um, Micro has offered, uh, since we came out with the brand, uh, the 55 gallon fresh water tank, which I know the consumers really like it. You can never have enough fresh water capacity. Um, we have upgraded the insulation package this year on all micro models to Climate Shield, which, you know, we've, we've, we've got radiant barrier insulation and spun fiberglass in the roof the front wall and the floor, um, so it's double insulated. We have heat dunks that go into the, the tanks. We have the, the UV or tinted windows, um, upgraded furnace, but what that climate shield means, like Whitehawk has had that for a few years now uh, for Feather and Micro, is that it was actually tested in a chamber at up to, or up to 100 degrees Fahrenheit and down to zero. So we had to maintain a certain ambient temperature within the coach um, at those extreme uh, temperatures, and we did that. So all of the Jayco lightweight models are now climate shield tested, okay? A couple other cool features on the exterior um, that we carried over from 23 is the Asdel. So all of our sidewalls are vacuum bond laminated, which that's a big deal in itself, but now the interior and exterior walls have Asdel composite. So Asdell Composite is mold and mildew resistant as well as water resistant, uh, and it's actually lighter. So that's in the perimeter walls on all the Jayco lightweights. We even on our diamond plating, uh, we adhere or laminate Asdell to the back side of that. So you're always gonna have a rigid front end where you get a lot of wind shear and elements hitting that as you're towing the camper uh, back and forth. This is something new that we introduced into the 23 model year, which is the rock solid stabilizer system. Awesome. When, when, the, when our supplier brought these to us, um, we actually took two identical J-Flight floor plans and mounted one with the, the scissor jacks that most of the industry uses, the manual scissor jacks, and then with these rock solid, our rock solid stabilizer system. And it was an absolute night and day difference with these new uh, stable, with this new stabilizer system, from a standpoint of once your tongue jacks down, the anchoring back and forth and side to side, you literally uh, it 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 uh, diminished that swaying that you can get back and forth. Uh, it was incredible. But they're really cool, and and I know they've been out there uh, not quite a year, but uh, man, customers are going crazy over them for sure. A um, couple other things, so. We've carried this over again. We have what we call the J-Port system and it'll be on all the micro models and it's a two inch receiver. And with that, the, the bracket arm, the table and the 17 inch griddle are all standard with all of your micro models. Uh, so again, we're carrying that over and you got your little LP 
uh, hook up here. This would be when you buy or have, if you have a micro, I mean, you know that this is a TV bracket that comes with every micro. So you have your exterior bracket attaching this to the TV. So your universal plate, and now you can watch TV under the awning. Uh, speaking of awnings within our lightweight development team, that's always something in when we talk about a new floor plan that is very important is we want to maximize your awning space. So depending on the length of the coach and where windows and doors and baggage doors and things are, we are going to try to get you the absolute longest and largest awning. Um, you know, most of the, the memories are made outside under that awning uh, camping. So want to give you as much shade as possible. A um, couple other things, the uh, solid steps. So the fold down solid steps that the industry and the, the retail public love because of the sturdiness that's on every micro unit. And then new 424 is we've got some cool blackout rims but we've upgraded our 16 inch American made Goodyear tires. So they're a little bit more rugged. It's, it's a Wrangler tire. Um, and again, it, it falls in line with why we went with these good Goodyear tires years ago is yes, number one, they're American made. They have a six year warranty, but they're also, you know, they have the highest, uh, speed and load ratings in the industry, uh, you know, up to 87 miles per hour, where a lot of the competition or the competitive tires, you only rate it up to about 65 miles per hour. So, and then you have the self-adjusting electric brakes, which is nice. Um, you know, that always gives you maximized safety when you're towing. And then the covered underbelly. Uh, a lot of the Overlander type trailers out there do not cover the underbelly or offer the upgraded insulation packages like we do on the micro. You know, last year in the 23 model year, um, we flipped from the, you know, the, the six gallon gas electric water heaters to the on-demand water heaters. And so 60,000 BTU and it's, it's, you know, it's basically uh, hot water, you know, right now. So uh, as we debuted those now on Whitehawk Jay Feather and uh, Micro, I know consumers have been very happy uh, having those new on-demand water heaters. So those again are carried over for 24. I think we've covered a lot of the changes that we've made. We've showed you the new exterior. Now let's pop inside and we'll show you the new interiors for 24. Now we're on the inside of the new 2024 Micro 166 FPS and want to point out some of the cool changes that we've made uh, for this upcoming model year. I want to start out by saying we have a new interior decor. Um, it's called Vintage Farmhouse. And in the past few years, three to four, we've had Modern Farmhouse, which consumers have loved, which was that white, bright interior that we came out with and, and a lot of other competitors have kind of followed suit or try to knock it off. But, you know, our design team, Stacy Stewart and, and, uh, and her ladies do such a great job with our interiors year to year. They follow home trends. Um, and, and I'll tell you a lot of the stuff that we see in these RVs we're seeing in homes today. Um, and then a couple of years ago, we introduced on, on the J feather and the micro initially was the vintage, uh, washed gray. So it seems like a lot of those home trends, you're seeing a lot of whites, you're seeing a lot of grays. So we had two different interiors. Um, and what we did then we offered a bourbon chocolate. So in your bedroom or your dinettes, depending on the floor plan, you might've had some of that darker wood. Well, what we've done for 2024 is we're only offering one decor. And again, it's called vintage farmhouse, but we basically taken both of those awesome gray and white wood colors and combine them in, in the coaches in strategic places. So in this coach, you can see the kitchen base is all the new modern farmhouse. And then on, on some, maybe some of the e-centers or overheads and slides, you'll see that vintage wash. Now we're only using bourbon chocolate in select places as accent. You'll see it up here in the, in the corner trims. So some of the trims, the fascias, and a couple other things that we did too is we've got, we've got a new vinyl flooring, we've got new kitchen countertops, and they've got more of a straight edge. You'll notice a lot of countertops in the past were more radius. These are more straight edge and, and follow the lines again of the home trends. Um, another really cool thing that we did is is and i want to mention two things so when we design a new floor plan we went in and tried to really look at 
the symmetry of the cabinets. You go into a home, you don't see a lot of open areas. I mean, the cabinets kind of fill up the space. So, and, and then the symmetry of the cabinets with drawers and everything lined up. So all of our floor plans, we kind of went in and tweaked what we needed to. Um, and, and they look really good. But then we also went to a hidden hinge. So no more exposed hinges. Uh, we, we filled up spaces, made the cabinets look uh, more symmetrical and really uh, appealing in each and every one of our models. But these hidden hinges are really, really nice. And again, follow the residential trends. Now we are in the 166 FBS. This is a smaller unit, but another major design criteria is to make sure that we have plenty of storage. We're always looking like if there's a little bit of a storage area there, what can we make it into and create more storage for our consumers? So you'll see that, you know, in this unit alone, you've got, you've got under the bed storage, you've got a, a large overhead here, overheads in your slide. You've got drawers that are now built into your sofa. Um, and then, and then the kitchen area, I mean, you've got a nice pots and pans drawer. You've got some cabinet storage. You've got a little pantry, uh, on the other side of the refrigerator. One cool thing with this is now underneath here, we have a, a, a cubby storage area where you can put a, uh, a like a 1.7 cubic foot refrigerator. But this is a cool little thing on this floor plan. Again, trying to utilize as much and, and create as much storage. We put the television on a hinge and we got a removable shelf up here and a hanging bar. So if you wanted to hang some things, you could. Um, but it's just that extra space uh, for, for kitchen goods or, or clothes or anything that you want to put there. Um, four, then 2024, another cool thing is we went to all black appliances and we thought that that really popped with these new lighter and brighter interiors. Uh, so the black appliances look really good. And with these all new black appliances, uh, we've got another cool feature and upgrade, which we're happy to tell you about. It, all micro models in the previous years have had a six cubic foot gas electric uh, refrigerator as a standard, and then you could option up to an eight cubic foot 12 volt refrigerator. Well, for 2024, we now have, and it's got the glass front, which looks great with this interior, but it is a 10 cubic foot, 12 volt refrigerator standard. And the cool feature with this refrigerator is you can open the doors from the left side, or you can open the doors from the right side. So pretty spiffy. You got plenty of space in there. A uh, nice size freezer space with a shelf, but uh, yeah, that will be standard along with the black appliances. That'll be standard on all of the 2024 micros. And one other thing that we uh, we have added as an option, and we're showing it here, is all micros come standard with a three burner gas cooktop with the glass cover, but you can now option in the oven. And then one other thing we wanted to show you is just. This is our trifold. It's a trifold sleeping area, so it folds down for extra sleeping. But these table trays have been very popular with the consumers. Um, I, I've even had people call me that have older Jayco's before we debut these to see if they could get them. Um, but it's basically, you know, it was a design we came up with and they fit in the, our theater seating and a few select trifolds to where you've got that eating space. It'll fit a full dinner service. Uh, you know, including the plate, silverware, and then, you know, we kind of have a cup holder built in the cup holder so you can put your favorite uh, beverage here. And then another nice thing is we have a two by four folding plastic table that if you, if you needed extra space or wanted to play cards or even take it out under the, under the awning, uh, you could do that as well. And then lastly, um, it, it, we've had it the past few years, but I like to talk about it. It's the Max Air fan and it, i'll tell you when you got the vent open it's 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 a four speed uh, uh motor on that but it, it will pull a lot of air out of the coach and, and keep air moving and even if you keep the lid closed and turn it on it can act as a, a ceiling fan but that is standard in all the micro models and then in your bathroom you'll always have a a, a roof vent as well but a power roof vent but it's just it's the smaller fan but again, somebody can, uh, you know, can turn that on uh, when they're using the bathroom. So those are some of the key things for the new micro. We're excited to get it out there. And, and to all of you that, that have micros today, we, 
surely appreciate our, our Jayco family. And uh, hopefully people that are kind of looking for RVs right now, that, that off-road micro type trailer, uh, we hope you give us some consideration and, and like the changes that we've made for 2024. So thanks again. Uh, thanks to our dealers. Thanks to our consumers and hope you guys have a good day. Thank you.